Hello everyone, I'm John Monsma. I'm a second year applied community and economic development student at uh, Stevenson Center in economics. And I'm coming to you today uh, from Invest Aurora, where I have my professional placement. And joining me today is Derek Conley. Uh, he is a full-time employee at Invest Aurora and a Stevenson Center alumni. Hello, everyone. So, uh, yeah, I uh, went through the Stevenson Center program. I also did my professional practice here at Invest Aurora and then was fortunate, fortunate enough to be uh, hired on. So I'm actually right now uh, John's supervisor. <laughs> yep, indeed. Uh, through AmeriCorps, um, currently doing an AmeriCorps Illinois position with Invest Aurora. Um, same thing that Derek did last year. And so now he is my AmeriCorps supervisor. Yeah. So, um, actually, me and John actually have a very similar uh, I guess what we've done through the Stevenson Center has been very similar. So we both worked um, under uh, Dr. Beck, who was part of the Stevenson Center, Frank Beck, um, doing some work for the the CJCC. Mm -hmm. Which, that's uh, the McLean County Criminal Justice Coordinated Council. And so I, I did the same thing last year uh, for the CJCC, working under Dr. Beck. And well, that work was mostly data analysis um, using SPSS to analyze uh, trends in the jail population. And that is something that both Derek and I are using to uh, study further with our capstones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess a, a brief background on me. I am from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, I graduated from undergrad from Michigan State University in, with a major in international studies and a minor in French. And I took a couple years off, worked for a couple small businesses and nonprofits, and worked on a couple uh, state house campaigns and volunteered for the Sierra Club and had a couple internships. And then I decided I wanted to go back for my master's. Um, I did some classes at Western Michigan University for towards a master's in economics, but I didn't finish that program. And then after another year after that, I decided I wanted to go back and finish a program. So I decided to go to the Stevenson Center at Illinois State University. And that's the program I'm currently completing. And yeah, I guess now I'm working my second year um, as my placement at Invest Aurora through uh, the Stevenson Center. So, yeah. uh, would you like to give a brief background yeah, of my... uh, how you ended up here? <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm from Carbondale, Illinois, which is way down south, and uh, I got my bachelor's in economics, and then uh, I went to Peace Corps, served Peace Corps for two years, and then uh, uh, Peace Corps... Uh, kind of has a, a really nice program where they can match you up with uh, universities and uh, uh, basically um, kind of get you into programs and related fields and help you out financially. And uh, I was immediately drawn to uh, Illinois State's program or the Stevenson Center, Stevenson Center at Illinois State uh, because of just all the financial benefits and uh, it's a good university and a, a good town to live and also the uh, the professional practice that it offered was also a, a big motivator. So uh, I, I chose to go to Illinois State with the uh, Stevenson Center, and uh, it's really worked out for me. Uh, you know, did the professional practice here, and then you know got got the job at the end of the at the end of it. So um, couldn't have worked out better for me. So now I'm here, uh, really liking living in Aurora, Illinois, and, and working with John. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, that's no secret, and for a lot of the Stevenson Center students, that's a, a large draw is the financial aid incentives, mm -hmm. um, the financial package of uh, full tuition waiver, which definitely drew me in as well. And I do like the whole uh, placement process where the second year you are working rather than taking classes, and uh, kind of gives you some professional experience and 
exposes you to uh, some community yeah. development organizations. I, mean, I think it gives you <clears throat> you get your foot in the door. I think a lot of more programs should be doing that, where they actually match you up with a a, a program or an, an internship or professional practice, whatever, whatever you want to call it. More programs should be doing that because it really gives you that real world experience that you can't you can't get just being in a classroom. Um, but even for us, I mean, when we were taking classes, uh, we were doing our assistantship, and that was extremely beneficial, I think, for both of us. We got a lot out of it, just out of doing data analysis and, and, and that type of stuff, so mm -hmm. and working closely with the jail. So um, all the way around, I mean, I think we learned a lot in our classes, but also the program really... Uh, really helps people get that real world experience also so yeah i'd say um i don't know about for you but for me uh i think one of the big things working for the mclean county cjcc um my presentation skills got a lot better because we had to uh present our our findings to some rather important people to uh, judges to uh, states attorneys um, public defenders public defenders and um, yeah it was uh, it was real work it wasn't like uh, you know just busy work it was things that mm -hmm. actually mattered and you know you had to, you had to get get them the correct data because they were they were depending on you for it but um, so yeah, I mean, that was just a great experience in itself, learning to present, learning to use some programs like SPSS, and uh, just some statistical analysis methods. So, um, but maybe, I don't know, maybe we want to talk about our first year briefly, just as far as like classes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, so I guess for all prospective or future students, uh, you know coming into it that it's a rather intensive program that um, you will have a assistantship plus four classes which can end up being a lot um, but I think if you're going to graduate school you're prepared for a lot of this and you know what you're getting into um, so our classes were for us structured as two economics classes and then two community development courses and so they're rather intensive and for the economics anyways it's a lot of uh, statistics and econometrics and things like that um we're and we're both economic students so that's right. our experience um as far as the other majors, uh, we have classes or had classes with them, uh, the community development courses with them. Yeah, I think that we had, for economics, we had, I mean, we had like projects and homework and stuff, but like a lot of it was dependent upon our tests. You know, like a big yeah. portion of our grades was just, you know, test day, uh, which was different from the other programs because some of them, like sociology, you know, they wrote papers. And that's not to say like, oh, they had it easy. They just had to write a paper. Like, some people are good <laughs> at writing papers and other people are just better at taking tests. So it's just like, I guess, who are you? But I think in economics, like a, a big portion of it was just uh, really, really studying for test day. Definitely. But the teachers were great, though. I think uh, Illinois State has some, some great economics teachers um, that, that really know their stuff and, and, and put, they do push you pretty hard, I think, mm -hmm. that you know, sometimes it, it could be a little a little bit stressful, but um, you know, I think you come out on the other end. Everyone kind of goes through that, and we both made it through. Everyone in mm -hmm. our both our cohorts made it through, and I think at the end, it's very very rewarding. I felt like I walked out like learning a lot and just like having a sense of uh, pride of like going through such a tough program and. Yeah, and I think it's also a relatively small program where you do get to know the professors pretty well oh, and yeah. your fellow students pretty well. And then uh, your cohort, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of bonding time with your cohort um, through both schoolwork and uh, out of class and things like that. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know about you, but like, I mean, like our our Stevenson Center cohort was very, very tight. Like we studied together, we you know hung out together, we were in classes together. In mm-hmm. my case, I lived with two of the people in my <laughs> cohort, so we were around each other like all the time, and uh, it worked out well for us. But like, yeah, they were my best friends, and at least for for classes, also like really heavily depended on working together. Um, you know, studying together and, and, and finding solutions to problems together. So, a big part for us. Yeah, yeah, we definitely had a pretty close cohort as well. Um, and we did, um, for one of our sociology classes, we were in groups together. So, we had to uh, work together a lot and do a group project together. And for that one anyways, we were group paired with uh, undergraduate students. So we were mentoring younger students in sociology at the same time as we're working together. So that was interesting. You can see that report. Um, that was for Not In Our Town. And uh, somewhere through the Stevenson website, you can uh, find that report, uh, which was a, a lot of work ended up going into that. and. Dr. Beck did a great job guiding the students and kind of coordinating all our efforts. Yeah. And just to like go back, especially when we did our big like group projects and stuff, like we uh, kind of like a benefit to the Stevenson Center that I wasn't expecting was like because like I was going to school with a bunch of uh, people that like were kind of like me and, and very intelligent people. And they ended up being kind of my best friends. Is like when we would like just go hang out like for fun on the weekends if, if we could. Um, was just like we'd end up talking about like a lot of uh, a lot of stuff we learned about in school or in classes and, and stuff. It kind of was just like very stimulating to be around like other other intelligent mm-hmm. people who had like common interests. So um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we had a lot of deep conversations. <laughs> yeah, good conversations come from it, and then sometimes some debates come out of it. Oh, yeah, that. definitely. <laughs> debates, arguments. <laughs> so, be prepared for that. <laughs> but then also we should just touch on, like, Bloomington Normal as a town. Because yeah, yeah. I personally, I thought Bloomington Normal was a great place to live. Mm-hmm. I mean, kind of a selling point. Like, I visited other universities when I was thinking about what school I wanted to go for grad school and like Bloomington Normal just the town itself struck me as like one of the better towns to be it's it's got a you know normal has uptown normal uh, which is pretty cute um, and you'd spend a lot of time there and then there's downtown Bloomington which is nice also um, I felt like there was a lot to do a lot of places to go hang out yeah definitely um, I spent more of my time in normal than Bloomington, yeah. uh, especially because that's where I lived and it was closer. Right. Um, but there's a lot of it's things also, to do in both cities. Yeah, and it's also very walkable. They have a, mm-hmm. a path that goes basically cuts through both towns and like you could live in Bloomington and easily get to, to Illinois State, yeah. which is in normal. Constitution Trail is Constitution. great. Yeah, so yeah, there's bike trails. I know there's like a big rock climbing gym there. There's a lot of you know, um, bars to go hang out with, I hang out at, uh, coffee shops, mm-hmm. live music, we, places. We did a lounge about at the roundabout a couple times, which is uh, mm. live music um, in the spring and summer that they do at uh, the roundabout in Uptown Normal. Uh, that was a really good yeah. Uh, yeah. time. They've done a lot of, like, uh, redevelopment in Uptown Normal, which is, I think, really makes the university more attractive. Especially also there's the Met, or not Metro, I'm sorry, the Amtrak goes through normal. So you're connected to Chicago mm-hmm. and St. Louis very easily. So. Yeah, definitely. 